Okay, uh, let's take a look. Um, I found the generator, one of the nice, I think, a repository or data platform. Uh, you have lots of information right here. You can definitely learn here more about this. Um, here, I want to upload some things. So let me go here and then log in with the username and password. So I have here for this demonstration. I hope this is my password here. Okay. Um, so now, um, after you have logged in, uh, here is a new upload. Click on new upload. So I click on new upload. So with your one click, it should, uh, you know, I mean, you can see the place to upload. So simply drag and drop here. So I have one article ready to upload. So it's right here. All right, it's, I can see here, 1064. That's the article number I'm going to upload here. So I click that one. And then what is next? Next is I have to, uh, insert some meta data so here is something i need the type of the publication yes this is journal articles you can select from the drop down list if it is software or book review or other things usually i give a category of journal article that's what i am uploading here um, we have a DOIs already uh, still there is no problem you can reserve DOI so I clicked on and now you can see 85 485 DOI for this one publication date you can go the actual date this one was published earlier this month so I will put um, November 15th actually yes November 15th the day of publication the title of the manuscript uh, the article that I uploaded here is the this is the title so let me copy and paste this will be easier yeah making a case and then author let me also copy and paste the information here family name the author of the paper is Rye um, it says the last name and the first name I guess so family name and given name so Rye S A R I T H Rita and her affiliation is I am selecting I'll just copy paste that's the her affiliation and then description in the description I am going to copy and paste the abstract so abstract uh, here you go just copy and paste this is the abstract here. We do not need a OR, ORCID, optional, um, English language is English for sure. Uh, you can leave blank or go with this. Keywords. Um, yes, if your articles include some keywords, yes, put there. Uh, this one is study abroad, um, international student. So depending on what your um, keywords are so this is open access in fact if it is not open access you can do uh, select the other thing and probably the one other area you need is the you know uh, the journal the title of the journal is here I uh, copy and paste this one is here journal of comparative and international education volume uh, you can make it optional. I can make 12. Um, then page number. This one is five to five to fourteen. So page five to fourteen. At least you can put the major. You know the information. In many areas it says optional but I strongly recommend to include the name of the author's journals um, so that in the databases they can sort by uh, the topics as well as the journals so I click I hit save 
and then once you save all information then it should ready for publish so here is still some information missing okay and then okay it's already here you have to hit start upload so you have a check mark progress is ready and then you have a green tab here publish so hit published it says it's asking record will no longer be able to change the all information you have including DOIs then yes I understand okay let's see I think it's taking okay it's working now so here is your permanent uh, upload here so this is the new article and then anyone wants to read the PDF the PDF is right here so citation is here everything and yes this is how it looks probably you can put the lowercase the name of the journals so when somebody wants to download for the citation uh, it would be nice and clean so next time I will make it lowercase and if you think you want to change uh, some information not correct so there should be edit button okay you can see here the orange click on edit and I want to make the name lowercase so click edit alright and uh, the name of the journal was right here so just I want to put the lowercase journal of comparative and international higher education that's much better because it will be easier for the citation journal of competitive and international higher education and then hit save all right and since this is already published so you can see what it looks like on the website yep this is the best one now yes and when somebody cite the citation will go like this a copy paste now it's much better all right i hope it helps you and the colleagues to upload uh, articles from your journals all the best